Hudson's Bay. The saga of the great Hudson's Bay Fur Company. And of the brave men who traveled the untrekked wilderness from Labrador to California, from Minnesota to Alaska. Starring Barry Nelson as Jonathan Banner, Hudson's Bay Man. With George Tobias as Pierre Falcone. Bred women didn't often come to Fort Gannon in the year 1822. Susan Murray was both pretty and well bred. She was also tough, determined, and looking for a man. One particular man. Tell you, I have it on best authority, Mr. Banner, that Harry was here. Was, Miss Murray. Was. But he's not here any longer. Is that what you mean? But he's not a, a member of this fort's company. I wish you would give me honest replies. Everything you say is evasive. Answer me truthfully, Mr. Banner. Is Harry all right? As far as I know, he's in good health. That's not what I mean, and you know it. Will you take some advice? Go back to where you came from. Give up trying to find him. Never. I'm sorry, I... I can't help you. Can't or won't, Mr. Banner? I will not leave this place until I find Harry. Good day. What is it with the beautiful young woman, monsieur? She's here looking for Harry Sinclair. You know? No. And for her own sake, monsieur, let us pray that she never finds him. I'm Susan Murray. I said I'm Susan Murray. I got ears. Don't pretend you haven't heard the name before. Harry must have told you about me. I don't know no Harry. You lie. He's here somewhere. Harry! Harry Sinclair! Eddie, what's the matter with you? Maybe you're sick, huh? Harry! Hey, you get away now! Harry! I want sick people! Harry, come out, please! Come on, let's know. You, you get away, come on! Harry! All right. Now that's enough, Grosjean. You put her down. Well, you always were a stubborn woman, Susan. <laughs> Change, eh? Maybe, maybe you didn't expect to see me changed. Maybe you thought I'd still be your darling Harry. Well, anyway, I found you. That's the important. Oh, 
Susan, don't talk such nonsense. Look, who, who, who asked you to find me anyway? Who, who asked you to come traipsing halfway across the country to see me like this? Nobody asked me, Harry. Nobody. I came because I wanted to. Oh. A good Christian woman, eh? The, the devoted angel of charity seeking out the sinner to offer him uh, redemption. Salvation. You stop it. <laughs> Harry, I came because I wanted to, because I love you. When you disappeared, my heart broke. That's why I'm here, Harry. Because it's still broken and you're the only one who can fix it for me. Well, you just better find somebody else no. to do the patching. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait. You don't come here no more. You don't bother my friend Harry no more. Next time, butt off! you go and hide that on me? I don't hide it. I promise I don't hide it. <laughs> why I hide it, Harry? I get it for you. <sighs> sure, now you tell me why you get it for me. Because you are my friend. Yeah, that's right. I'm your friend. I'm the only friend you've got. We. Oui. You are my good friend. Mr. Banner, I want to talk to you. Sure. No, I, I, I'd rather stand. What can I do for you? Mr. Banner, I want you to help me restore Harry Sinclair. No, ma'am, I'm sorry. Why won't you? Well, I... Now, look, I, I didn't want to have to be the one to say this, but he's no good. He's a drunk and a mean one. He, he lives like a pig, he looks like a pig, and he smells like a pig. Mr. Banner, I've come across half a continent to find him. I need help. If I don't get it, everything I've been through will have been wasted. I love him, Mr. Banner. Whatever he's become, I love him. I'll think about it. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. She's a very fine woman, that one. Too fine to waste yourself on the likes of Harry Sinclair. Monsieur, it was a very lucky day when I met up with you. Now, what are you talking about? Well, it is not everyone who has such a wise judge as a friend. You know, sometimes I think I picked you up for the good of my conscience. Well, I don't want you to think that I am urging you to help that pig of a Sinclair. Oh, no, of course not. Don't you know any other tune? Some, some drink. Come on, drink. I don't drink with such as you, cannibal. I 
Fun's over, boys. All right. What happened? This animal asked us to, to take a drink. Ah, it's a kind of a rough way of saying thank you no, didn't you? Monsieur, it is an insult to be asked to take a drink by uh, such a thing as this gros on. Easy, you. You call me a cannibal. You ought to be used to it by this time. Better get going. Leave him alone. He's my friend. I must take him home. Not this time. But he's my friend. You have no friends. I will not take him with me. You will take him away. It's for his own good, Grosjean. Pick him up, take him over to my place. Find Miss Murray. Tell her I got some clearing. I'm going to need her help. Tell her that. What we're gonna do will be cruel. If she hasn't got the heart for it, she better quit now, because once we start, we can't stop. We... This will do him good. This will bring him too. I said to dunk him, not drown him. Oh. <laughs> man sets out to kill himself with liquor, you have to half kill him to bring him back to life. We sobered him, deloused him, put him to bed, and then set ourselves for the next stage in the redemption of Harry Sinclair. Still an animal. It's going to take a long time to bring him back to being human. Well, I don't want him tired like this. When he wakes up, he'll be hurting. He'll plead for a drink, just one little drink. He'll weep, and he'll scream, and then he'll rage. Leave the thongs alone, man. No. and I would nurse him. Sit by his bed and soothe him. Help him find the courage to fight this thing. In a clean bed, with his face all washed and his hair all combed. I didn't know it would be this way. A horrible way it really is. How long will it go on this way? I don't know. He's been living with Grosjean in that shack ever since he came here. Grosjean's been filling him with as much liquor as he'll hold. Why? I don't know. To get a hold on Harry, maybe. Why would such a man want a hold on Harry? For his company, I guess. Somebody to talk to. If nobody else around here will have anything to do with Grosjean. Why not? Well, a few years back, uh... Grosjean led a bunch of trappers up the Missouri. They got trapped and they all died. Everybody died of starvation. Except Grosjean. 
He came out in pretty good shape. That's why they call him cannibal. There isn't a man in the north who'll have anything to do with him. died, but he didn't. Harry Sinclair put in a week of torment, and the pains ebbed. New light came to his eyes. He was a different man. Susan said you wanted to see me. Yes, just long enough to say thank you. That's all right. I guess I was quite a mess. Yeah, quite a mess. Would you take some advice? Sure. Don't ever take another drink. I'll never take another drink, Mr. Banner. Probably nothing but trouble. Did Susan ever tell you the reason I came out here? Why I was the way I was? No. I was a coward. Happened five years ago. The Illinois country. It was an Indian uprising. Winnebago's. They came down on the settlements. I could have stopped them, but I didn't. I, I got scared. I ran away. They killed 15 people. Four men, their wives, and seven children. And you just kept running. Yeah, that's right. But I'm going to go back there now. I'm going to face it. If there's a price to pay, I'm going to pay for it. Maybe Susan will help me. I'm sure she will. Mr. Banner, there's a minister due in here from the Red River Settlement. Susan and I would like to be married when he arrives. I think that can be arranged. Painted wood, and you know it. Never mind, monsieur. Hey, look. This shoe buckle is pretty, no? No. Hey, wait, wait. <laughs> this medal, monsieur. A general wants for it. Stop monsieur. wasting my time and take your junk out of here. Monsieur, I must have a drink. I said get out of here. I get out. Better not be found here. Who will find me? That banner, he is right out in the, in the woods to look for me. <laughs> All the time, I am here. <laughs> hey, this is one fine nest you found. Hey, regard. A real chair. <laughs> look, Grosjean, I, I, I don't want to appear inhospitable. Hey, when you come home. You know I'm not coming back to you. Oh, we, 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 I know. Uh, I forget, huh? Hey, Riga. I bring you a present. Hey, get cups, mon ami. We have a little party, huh? No thanks. What does it mean, this no thanks? <laughs> Oh, perhaps you are too good to drink with it, old friend Grosjean. Look, you know that's not true. I just don't drink anymore. No? Ah, you 
don't drink no more. Not even one little thing. All right. And I will have one little sip. <coughs> so you don't drink no more. Hey, you're not dirty anymore. Ah, no, no, no. You are a fine gentleman. Stop it. Oui, oui, oui. You will be a fine gentleman. So clean, so not drunk, until that woman take you away from here to that place from where you came. And what will you be, Monsieur Sinclair? What do you mean? I mean about those people who call you a coward. Well, that, that's all finished, Grosjean. I'm going to go back and face them. Ah, that is a good thing. That is a brave thing. They will all say, what a brave man is this coward who ran away. And let men, women, and children be killed by Les Sauvages. What are you trying to do to me? I'm only telling you what a brave man you are, monsieur. Or perhaps you think that people will have forgotten or forgiven after only five years? No, no, mon ami. People do not forget. They do not forgive so quickly. It is 15 years since something happened to me. They do not forget. They do not forgive. Well, that was different. Wasn't I did nothing. Nothing but stay alive while others died. I did not kill those men, monsieur. I did not eat their flesh. But because I stay alive while others died, men say bad things about me. But the men believe them. Until you came here, there was no one, no one, who would drink with me, sing with me, or talk with me. They do not forget or forgive a crime which was never committed. Do you expect them to forget or forgive a crime, your crime, which was real? No, no more than me. Forget these foolish dreams. Drink. Uh, the drink no, is real. Please, drink, no. Mon ami. No, I, I don't. Please, don't. Thank you, 
Well, aren't you going to wish us good luck? Congratulations. For you. Oh, Cujo. Thank you. We'll always be very glad to see you. I will come someday. Isn't it beautiful? You know, someday I would like to see you get married. You know, I think I ought to buy you a drink. Ha, 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 ha.